How's it going, David from Comic Book Investments? So today I'm going to answer the number one question I get in the comments all the time. And that is, do I press? And the answer is, depends. All right, that's it. All right, good night. No, I'm just joking. Uh, I would get a bazillion more comments if I didn't answer this as thorough as possible. So I'll try to answer as thorough as possible. So do I press? Well, that really depends. Um, do I know how to? Yes, I know how to. Um, is there any like true real secret sauce that I have? No. Like there's tons on YouTube alone teaching you how to press. Like I don't think me showing you my technique is any different or any better or anything. It's probably actually worse. <laughs> um, but when it comes to pressing, do I do it? it? It really depends on the book. So many times I hear people talk and people ask me questions like, oh, I'm going to you know, send this out for a clean and press and you know, I'm get a better grade. I'm like, that's not how it works. Um, it really depends on what you can do to the book to see if it helps. There's been many times where there's a book with like a little bit of spine roll that we could roll back and, you know, and there's like little dimples and things that we could press out. And then we, so we crack it out of the case, right? This is already a graded book. Crack it out, press it, send it in, and it gets a lower grade. You know, it, so it's like, it's not a for sure thing. So many times I hear people, oh, I'm going to crack it out and press this and, and clean and all that kind of send it away for that stuff. And then I'm going to get a better grade. It's like, no, you won't. Like, that, it's not a guarantee. Um, for example, that Albedo number two that I got in, that was like super nice and high grade and everything like that, not going to press that. There's nothing there that is pressable. The book is already flat. It's already super nice. Uh, it has, you know, the dark colored inks on it. There's nothing you can erase to, to like clean it. Um, there's... There's nothing to press. What's wrong with it is color breaks that you can't press out a color break. You can't press out a tear, right? You can press it all day long. That tear is still going to be there. That color break is still going to be there. Um, and that's like the most important thing that people need to understand is what you can press out and what you can't press out. And just simply pressing it is not going to do any good, right? So do I press? Yeah, like it, it really depends. Uh, like that Albedo number two, I'm not going to press. Um, it's just there's nothing to do it. There's been times, where, like I said, where I've pressed a book and it got a worse grade. Um, majority of the times, I would say, yeah, I'll probably press it if I think it can help. Or if I think it's worth it, as in, you know, there's no point in pressing a book where the value of the book anywhere from an 8.0 to like say a 9.0 or 9.2 is all the same price, right? There's lots and lots of books out there where it doesn't make any financial sense to do it because there's no, there's no value in doing it. There's no value in taking the time. There's, and if you send it away, there's no value in sending it away. Um, you're just putting more money into the book when you're not going to get anything out of it in return. There's tons of books where it's like anywhere from 8.0 to like almost like a 9.4 is the same price. And it's also the luck of the draw. Like who are you getting grading your book when you send it to CGC? You can get someone that's really lenient. You can get someone that's had a bad day and destroys it. Like it all depends. So there's, it's, it's hard to say just there's this one answer. Because if I said I just pressed everything, I'd be wasting my time. Because some stuff is not worth the money to press it. Sometimes it's not worth it to press as in it's not going to make any difference. Right? Sometimes pressing it will help. You know, and how much it will help? Maybe a little bit, maybe a lot of bit. Um, so that, it's, it's hard to say, just give a blank statement of like, yes, I you know, press everything, because that's not true. There's lots of stuff I just send as is or sell as is. Uh, it's not worth taking the time. Um, so, yeah, I, but yes, I do, I do know how to press. I don't press that much. 
Um, mostly my brother does that. Um, I do most of the buying and he does more of like that kind of stuff. Um, I know how to. I mean, I, I still press stuff here and there. So it's not, it's not, it's like riding a bike. It's not like all of a sudden I stop and then it's like, oh, I lost all the, all my techniques and everything's gone. I have to start from scratch. No. Um, I, I have a press um, with me. Um, but like I said, I don't use it too often. Not, not that much. And like I said, it's like even something like Al- Albedo too, where it could be like a $10,000 book. I'm not pressing it. Like, I think it'll do more harm than good. Because you have to understand, like, every time you have the book in your hands, the more things can go wrong. And many times, something has gone wrong, right? Putting a tear or a crease or something like that, right? So, yeah. Um, people ask me, do I send it away? No. They ask me who I should send it, the books away to. I don't know. Like I said, I don't use other people. Um, it's just, you know, it'll be it'll get really expensive, and like I'm not really sure it's worth it because I don't even know what they charge. But if it's like ten to twenty dollars, now you're adding ten to twenty dollars in every book, right? That means you, if you make an additional twenty dollars, you're breaking even. So what's the point at that point, you know, of sending to somewhere else? So I would just, you have to look at the book. And that's what we do. When we, when we get a grade in from CGC and we go, oh, this grade sucks. Let's say we called something a 9.4 and it comes back a 9.0 or 9.2. What we have to do is then we look at the book and we're like, okay, it's going to cost us another $40 and like at this point, like six months to get back. How much money will be the difference if it's, say it's a 9.0 and we really think it's a 9.4? Well, what's the money difference between a 9.0 and 9.4? And then you have to look at it like that and you go, okay, it's, you know, oh, it goes from a $100 book to a $400 book. Okay, then that's worth taking the chance on. And if it comes back a 9.2, now it's an extra 100 bucks. Okay, that's worth the $40. That's worth the risk, the time that it takes. But what if it goes from a 9.0 to a 9.4 and it's a $60 jump? What's the point? You're going to spend $40, wait six months, and then maybe get that 9.4? It's not worth it. That's the same with pressing. If you're sending out these books and it's like so hard. It's like I would have to physically see the book to tell you how much a pressing and cleaning would help. But it's not a blanket statement. You can't just throw it on because here's the thing. My dad would press and clean back in the 80s. He wasn't the only one, right? A lot of books have already been pressed and cleaned like the ones that have value. So if you instantly just get a book in and you're thinking, oh, I'm going to press and clean this and it's going to look nice and whatever, that's not a guarantee. It could have already been pressed and clean a long time ago. I mean, if that's hell, it could have been pressed and clean by one of us, like, you know, over here. And there's, so it's, it's just hard to like, I just can't put like that blanket statement. So then when people ask me in the comments, oh, do you have press and clean? It's just like, it's, it's so hard to answer that question. I'd have to see the book in hand and I'd have to tell you whether I'm doing it or not. It's just not a blanket statement. I just don't go, every book I'm pressing and clean. Like I said, waste of time, waste of money, waste of resources. You really have to look at the book and determine if it's actually worth pressing and cleaning. There's only so much you can do to a book. And even if you do all the right stuff and you make it arguably better looking, that is not a guarantee that CGC will give it a better grade. It is not. You could get a worse grade. It just how it goes. And it's happened to me many, many times to know this. So I hope that answers, uh, you know, the question I always get. Um, I don't know if people will be satisfied by this answer because it's kind of like, eh, I don't know. Um, so I don't, I don't have any recommendations of who to send it to. Um, like I said, I would do it, I just do it myself. Um, as far as like presses and stuff, there are so many people online. A press is a press. They're, they're not that much different from each other. 
So you can literally, there's, there's tons of people online that can give you better recommendations than I could. Um, I've taken like webinars on it just to see if there's anything, like years ago, before there was so much online, uh, to see if there's anything different that I wasn't doing. And no, it's all basically the same. So, all right. I mean, I hope that answers your, uh, the number one question I get. Um, I also get another question that's not about this, but that's my number two. I'll save it for another video. Um, I hope you have a great weekend and have a good rest of the day. Bye.